Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. And with me is my compatriot. He is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Hi, Sorg. Hi. 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 Um, so, Sorg, um, I know that in, in the past on this show, I've been somewhat negative. Okay. About, about Raw, especially last week, I, I was I was bummed about a lot of things, like like the Shield not coming out as a whole, um, coach in general, uh, Kevin Owens quitting. There was a bunch of stuff that really just kind of angered me, and I figured instead of screaming into the internet about it, mm-hmm. I decided to change matters myself. <laughs> oh wow! Nice gauntlet you got there, sir. Yes. So, I mean, you know, it wasn't a perfect show, but I did what I could. Hmm. And I apologize to any Revival fans. They were dusted. (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) They were not spared. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Sorry, well, I couldn't help that. Well, you are accessorized. I, if you're on the, on the video, you can see I'm uh, sporting some Dudley Boys style tape. Some mm-hmm. glasses incident I had today. Thank you, producer Missy and glasses fixer uh, Missy for uh, hooking us up there, so I can still see things and operate the show and drive to the grocery store. So, Kevin, you learned Oculus Repair yet? What? No, no, I haven't. All no, right. I haven't. I spent all of Raw building a Harry Potter Legos, so <laughs> my mind. My mind is firmly in Hogwarts right now. Oh, I was posting things. But anyways, it was a Raw. It wasn't a... Um, I, man, I... So I made a statement that whatever writers are on vacation today for Labor Day mm -hmm. should be extended. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. (laughs) And also, there there was another tweet where somebody said that um, apparently we're just drawing names out of a hat today. Um... I well, think in re- in reference to Ember Moon and Dana Brooke, uh, which, when you eliminate the uh, the three top faces from your show, y- you gotta have some creative. Oh, we books. gotta do things with everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost weird. But even even to the fact that it wasn't like like we didn't have yet another repeat match from a lot of people, right? It's it's like more of a hey, let's have some more people mix it up like this, have some different competition, and then. Drake Maverick in Shield ALP situation. I right, we'll we'll get to that. Okay, okay. I, I what do we do? We start with the Shield in general. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Um, by the way, Roman did not bring out that Universal title fucking once tonight. No, you know why? Red leather clashes of Kevlar. Ah. And that- Oh. Problem going forward. Hey, do you remember who the Intercontinental Champion is? Nope. <laughs> it's Seth Rollins. Do you do you remember, do you know who the new tag team champions are going to be? Not the ones we saw tonight, but the new new tag team champions. The new new new. The new new new. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Seth, Seth is never defending that Intercontinental title again. <laughs> and this is the problem with the Shield. This is why. Factions typically come in fours. Mm. So you can have a main guy, a mid-card guy, and da, 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 a tag team. I was having a little bit of a, a fever dream fantasy at the end of the show uh, where I was kind of hoping that Finn puts in his application to be part of the Shield. Oh, n- all right. Hold on. What does Jen Carlin's have on you? <laughs> But I'm just saying he got beat up by these guys. He's like, I want in. I'm getting tired of this. And you know what's great? If the Shield accept his application, but only for the demon. Okay. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want Finn. We just want the demon. It's like it's like in Iron Man 2, where, where Nick Fury says he wants 
Iron Man in the Avengers, but he doesn't want Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Like, I get it. It'd be great because I swear to God, if I have to hear the ordinary man who does extraordinary things one more fucking time, I'm going to strangle someone. Or extraordinary, as producer Missy was getting a hang up about tonight. Sorg. That means he's very extra taking out the trash. Sorg. What extraordinary things has Finn Balor done? Has he beaten Braun Strowman? Nope. Has Has he beaten uh, Roman Reigns? Nope. Brock Lesnar? Nope. The Undertaker? Well, I mean, Taker's the dead. Undertaker. I'm I'm asking. I'm looking for extraordinary no, things that Finn has done. Now, if he can put together an entire Lego Death Star in the span but. of SummerSlam '88. That would be extraordinary. That's very but possible. That probably is a I, thing. I have yet to see that the footage. I need to see. And, I need to see the tapes. And I'll channel somebody that I know is in the chat room right now. But those abs, Mike. Um. Yeah. Yeah. They're 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 great. That's uh, extraordinary. He, he didn't do that. He has those. He, what's that? He, he, that's not something he does, though. Oh, if you do, no, that's a thing. You that is a generated <laughs> thing. That is a lifestyle choice. Well, I, I'm aware of that, but if if we're really stretching it, that's not really Mike. Mike, John, it, we could make the choice to have abs like that, and that would be extraordinary. Yeah, if we can make the choice, but it's not like they would just magically appear. No. Now, if if. He was a schlub when he's not in the ring and just magically makes those abs appear, then that would be extraordinary. No, but it's it's just kind of something. Just doing, that, just, it's just about doing crunches while you're making those Legos, right? It's genetics. The genetics. I think it's more than genetics. I think there, there's some work that goes into abs like that. Yeah, he doesn't eat a – he hasn't had a single carb since 2003. I'm well, sorry. You know. Uh, That's not extraordinary. That's extraordinarily boring. <laughs> Yeah, All right, delicious. moving on. Something that is well, okay. What you, something that is extraordinary that uh, the Shield have stolen another police vehicle. Well, all right, hold on. I have a I have a huge problem with this. Okay, you don't tell us on commentary that the Shield made bail and left the police station legally, mm -hmm. and then have them steal a cop car. You know, you, you have a video report from Mike Rome saying. I don't know what just happened. The shield just left. You know what would be great if they're like we have uh, footage of them leaving, and then we just go to that that it's just a black and white version of the shot of Sting and Lex Luger of uh, stealing the cop car from Nitro. Yeah, or or like we have eighteen thousand camera angles of who attacked Aleister Black without actually seeing it. I bet we could get some security footage of that police station. Side note, and also it took him like four weeks in order to start the investigation. Side note, I'm loving the investigation so far in NXT. But that's I a whole other show. Didn't watch NXT from oh. this time. You need to watch it because it involves Nikki Cross, and I can't wait. Oh, yes, it does. I, I have not been spoiled. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh, anyways, that's a whole other show. Uh, this is Raw, not wrestling. Um, anyways, so so... Um, I, in my mind, in my yeah. mind, Canon, and I'm hoping this is the explanation that pops up like next week or Scott Stanford will tell us on this week in WWE. I'm hoping that the shield just gave some autographs to the, um, cops and said, Hey, can we borrow this? And that's how they got a car. I would assume so. Yes. Um, I'm also did, did you catch the real fun, the real fun bit when that police wagon pulled back into the arena? Did you catch it, Sorg? It was very small. Mm. Did you catch it? Because the, the first guy to come out was Roman Reigns. Right. And guess what he was met with? The booze. A, a lot of booze. Right. Because it isn't working. Yeah, his buddies are here. It's, it's like, it's he is Poochie. Poochie? <laughs> All right, let's it's figure it out. scratchy and poochy. Let's figure it out. I, I, I'm loving the brawls. I'm loving heel guys. Uh, Baron's sick, sick in the heel guys on this. Um, it doesn't – it makes sense for the most part. And I think it – I, I think it completely makes sense. When has the shield ever saved any one of those other faces from exactly, the back? Exactly, exactly. 
I was totally fine with that. That tracks. And every that... and everybody remembers what the shield was like. How they attacked everybody and teamed up on everybody, and they don't want that to happen again. Yeah, exactly. That complete in <laughs> again, the shield by design are heels. Exactly. They're, they're heels by design. Yet we have bacon, mac, and cheese out there acting like the good guys. Side side note: Alex Miller claims that he saw a, a sign that said "fuck all in." <laughs> well, that's just because that person didn't get to go. Because that was a great. Show. That's a raw fan. That's a raw fan, not a wrestling fan. That's yeah, as we've been they, saying. <laughs> raw fans are definitely not wrestling fans. Yes, exactly. But anyways, I mean the you know the ones that are all in on Raw. Wait. Um, and I'll go to this because it's been mentioned a couple of times. Um, how about Elias and uh, Alexa? Did I wake her up again? Ah, uh, yeah. That, that Sorg Elias is never gonna have another match. <laughs> yeah, He's never gonna have another match. He's just gonna be singing Elias, but he comes out and say and, and takes down the shield. He's he's gonna be singing until they decide. Hey, this guy's really over. Maybe we should make him the Intercontinental Champion. We'll see. We'll see. Um, or or he gets his own reality, like, American Idol type show. I'd be entirely on board with that. That's okay. That's another way to make the company money, and the guy has a longer career. Absolutely. And uh, his interaction with Alexa was fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you see the new match that was announced Revolution? What was that? Lita versus Mickey James. <gasps> no, I'm all in on that. Yeah. No. Yeah. If it was me, I would switch Lita and Alexa. So we get, oh no, I would switch Mickey and Alexa. So we have Lita and Alexa and Trish and Mickey. That's what I do, but that's me. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll swap them for uh, uh, um, Evolution Two. Oh, well, I'm hoping that maybe we can get a mixed tag a uh, tag team match Ooh. for. That's what I'm hoping. That'd be uh, great. F- uh, for what I I sorry I cut you out oh uh i'm hoping we could get a tag team match for the go home show devolution nice these versus alexa and mickey that'd be great it'd be great if raw was like 50 percent women's matches going into that wouldn't it um <laughs> go home raw better be all fucking women's matches that's right tina's saying elias is my new favorite with that uh michigan dig against columbus uh um, sorry that's a sports joke it's a sports joke that's oh sport- he wasn't talking about logan Oh, yeah. I I oh. thought I thought you might need help with that. He wasn't is, talking about well, that Wolverine. Is that a sports person joke? That's that's <laughs> Corey Graves. Pittsburgh's own Corey Graves. Oh man, is a sports person. He, he had that. He had that that puck ball reference tonight. He just couldn't think of the word athlete. <laughs> uh, Corey, we love you, but you just could not think of the word athlete, could you? Oof, oof. Anyways, <laughs> um, Jay, man, I, I, you know the women. I'd love to see a women's show, but I'd be really worried about like that little period where Two Hundred Five Live was, where we really wanted characters, and it got real weird, and some guy named Enzo. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know about about them having their own show just yet. At least not in the um, same vein of a Two Hundred Five. You'd need to sign a bunch more people. Oh, of course, but I mean, geez, I think it's. I, you need to sign more people, and then they wouldn't appear on Raw or SmackDown at all. Absolutely. I think it's better, I think it's better that they're where they're at right now. Speaking of people crossing over, first there were two, two of them. I don't know if you saw the second one, Mike, but at least two people from Two Hundred Five Live appearing tonight. One in a very um curious endeavor. Uh, Drake Maverick is now the spokesperson for AOP, the manager of AOP. Sorg, sometimes. It's really hard to wield this. <laughs> I want I want more rock stars, but how it happens, only the gauntlet knows for sure. That's that's just, you know, how it works. I'm okay with it though, because God, AOP needs something. Yeah, they do. They do. They I, need something. If, if we can't get Paul Ellering to travel, yeah. then Find someone else. Listen, Paul Ellering is reading his Alaska magazines, which means he probably lives there now. Um, so I and, and somebody was like, "Well, why not Paul Ellering?" I'm pretty sure he's he's not. Remember, NXT filmed once a month, and it was always in Florida. Yeah, where where retired people live. Yes, like Paul Ellering. 
That's yes. where that's how it worked. And then the occasional show that that you do for for something like that. But um, <laughs> Tina thought she saw Johnny Gargano in the first pull apart. I bet that was the other one. Um, uh, Drew Gulak. Oh, I caught oh. him at the end. Poor Gulak. Poor Gulak. Poor Gulak. Why was he there? It's just like I did. Two or five live people are supposed to be hanging on Mondays now. I don't know. Because I thought they they ended that. Well, they they've never announced. Maybe he's like Drake's riding buddy. Who knows? That could be too. That he like he just happened to be around Columbus, yeah. not too far from Philadelphia. Yeah, I get it. Um, side note: uh, Drake Maverick's interview with uh, Edge and Christian this week was really good. I uh, get a little bit of a background on that and everything too. Uh, to Jay, uh, he's saying about uh, uh, WWE uh, bringing back managers like this. Do you remember Armando Alejandro Estrada? Yes, he's been on our show twice. Friend of the show. And he promised Friend? a sandwich from his defunct sandwich shop that we never got. Because it was in, like, was he in Texas at the time? Louisiana, maybe? Wait, I think it was Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, that seems right. But, oh, that dude's awesome. But anyways, um, uh, other people that popped up tonight the freaking undertaker yeah that was a nice surprise that was a nice surprise that was a nice surprise i still don't care about that match i okay <laughs> i i sean michaels telling us why he's retired and staying retired and how everybody else is bullshit i liked that i i i liked okay i like the segment i don't know if it's going to make me care about like more about the Australia. I'm going to watch the Australia show anyways because I was. Let's see what the Australia show is like. And hey, the women will be there this time. Um, but uh, they're live because they happen to do that during New York Comic Con. Oh, okay, all right. Something tells me I'll have to watch it at some point, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm taking suspicion. I'm going to be watching that show regardless. <laughs> anyways, um. But no, I, I thought that was a nice moment. That was definitely a nice surprise all around because they were like, oh, great, here's Sean just going to tell us stuff. And uh, and we got into that. And it was heated. There's a lot of history there. I brought that up. I'm sure the youngins have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, it kind of bums me out that basically they implied the only way Shawn Michaels would come back would be for one more match with the Undertaker. Yeah. Which I don't necessarily want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> We're setting that up for WrestleMania in my backyard. I guess I'll take it. <laughs> well, at least he's not. Mean. At least Sean's not going to like TNA or something. Yeah, no. You know what? You know what? He's retired. He's on He's retired, you know, that means he can't wrestle for WWE. He can't wrestle for the United States. He can't wrestle in any land in the world. But I wonder if he can wrestle on a on the international waters of a Jericho cruise. Sorg, no wrestling show is going to promote Jericho's cruise. <laughs> show oh. would do that. No show would dedicate time out of a four hour and 59 minute and 57 oh, seconds. Geez. No show would dedicate any bit of time to promote a cruise ship. <laughs> this is a different show entirely. But anyways, also from tonight, also from tonight, sir. Uh, 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 I'm sad that Dana Brooke has uh, broken up with her uh, two boyfriends. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know, but Dana Brooke is doing something. Side note, I picked Here, up... Here's what I, here's what I hope. I hope Dana Brooke all of a sudden turns super badass and challenges Ronda Rousey for evolution. Yes. Yes. I would love that because Dana, Dana Brooke is a legitimate, like she's a wrestler. She's a, she's a power lifter for Christ's sake. Like we can do something with Dana Brooke that doesn't have to involve worldwide. We, we, it doesn't have to involve Titus and Apollo. She's been pretty great with it, but again, this is something that's kind of run its course. It's been around for a while, and it's 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 touch base with a lot of things, right? So, yeah, moving yeah, on. Yeah, Titus hasn't really helped anyone's career. Can we talk about yoga? Um, only if we talk about it with my man, my man, <laughs> yes, my man. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Can Bobby Lashley go back to Impact? 
so uh, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm no, completely I, okay with this. I'm so not because this I is, saw, I saw that shit coming a mile away. That should have been a much worse segment than it ended up being. <sighs> that should have been Sammy Sammy Zayn with his sisters uncomfortable, and it it came off okay. But uh, they 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 have no idea what to do with Kevin Owens. Uh, we're rolling back. We're getting a question from the chat room. What happened with Dana Brooke? Um, I believe we're. No, I missed what she was upset about. Were were, were she the, was just upset that she lost. She was just upset she lost in general. Because, uh, they didn't interfere or anything. Apollo, Apollo and Titus were arguing on the outside. Mm-hmm. She got distracted and uh, that's all. Okay. By the way, Tina, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday, Tina! Happy birthday, Tina! Happy birthday, Tina! Just for you, the Bella Twins wrestled. It's next. <laughs> the Bella Twins. Oh, man. Uh, How are you feeling? That was feeling? a real nice women's evolution we had. So. <laughs> and they want and they want to help Ronda as their training partners. Um, Now, see, if they broke into an acapella verse of Help Me, Ronda, I would have been okay with it. But as it stands. Do you really want them singing? Do you? I mean, I barely was okay with them talking tonight. Singing, then have them wrestling. Yes. Um, by the way, producer Missy is definitely. You know, producer Missy tonight was talking about how she was over with the Bellas, and we're reminded that the Bellas have not been on Raw to wrestle in about three years. But mm-hmm. it was just the instant, like, oh God, I'm already over this, right? It's just like you with Dean Ambrose. Um, I was okay with the first week. When he mm-hmm. came back, I was fine. Mm hmm. Um, his ma- his match with Dolph after that was fine too, but we're getting back to the point where I don't care. Back to Shield World, anyways. By the way, um, it's odd that uh, Brie Bella is the one to pull a John Cena. <gasps> she's wrestling on both shows. Mm, Brie goes where she wants to go. She's a free agent. Free mode. Oh boy. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, by the way, what's up, the sexy fireman out in the chat room as well? Um, thank you for putting out fires. Yeah, that's right, or starting them. Anyways, um, <laughs> hey, what else? Anything else from tonight, sir? Uh, we have new tag team champions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that fucking, I you know. This is why I asked who the Intercontinental Champion was because I saw Dolph outside. Even though I watched them win the belts. And I'm like, oh, wait, is he Aaron Connell champion? I thought it was like, oh, no, he's tag champion now. I'm really sorry, Revival. <laughs> I didn't. What did it cost? The Revival. That's what it cost. It oh, cost boy. the Revival. But we got Renee back. We did get Renee back. We got Renee. It was good. It was good. It was It was a good Raw. It was seriously. Yeah, I, think, I think that's because golf as a tournament on Labor Day. But we got Renee back for a night. Is that what Coach is doing? Yeah. Oh. Because his his sort of lively, well-informed commentary can only be restrained by golf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Coach. That's fantastic. By the way, we, are they really calling that fucking group the pack? They can um, really calling them the pack because if it's a pack and it's not led by the lone wolf, Baron Corbin, what the fuck are we even doing? I think it kind of is, though. But it's not. I think you're going to end up with, I mean, you're going to continue. I, this isn't, I, I think this is obvious. I think you're going to end up with the pack and Baron Corbin going yeah. against the shield and Finn. In some configurations, oh, it'll leading be up an to- tag in two weeks. In two it weeks, yeah, it won't be next week because Ronda's wrestling, so she's the main event. Okay. Oh wait, who's she? Who's she wrestling? She's tagging with Natty against Alexa and Mickey. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. Hey, she gets hey, the wrestle. I'm okay with it. There you go. I'm okay, I'm okay with it. I was a little concerned. But they announced she has another match next week. I'm like, okay, all right, fine. Yeah, she gets like now, every once once a month at least. I think that's fine for the champion. I mean, when's the last time Roman's had a match? Wait, never mind. Month, Two weeks ago. Once a month, I'm totally cool with. Yeah. Once a month, I'm totally cool with. That's fine because it's Raw. 
You have to have segments. I get it. Once a month, I'm totally cool with. And she didn't get attacked by a bat this week. Um, that we know of. That we know of. Mad Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you? Uh, I'll give it an hour 45. Yeah. Okay. That, that is generous for you. That is generous for me because uh, there were some things on there that honestly didn't matter. The, like the stuff that didn't matter, I was like, mm, "Why are we doing this?" Listen. Like, like the thing we didn't even mention, Glorious Gable. The mm. fuck is that? Okay, the fuck is, that? is that we were really hoping Jason Jordan was going to be cleared by now, but he's not. Now he's an agent. Is that what this is? Because I think that's what this is. I, I, it's a. We don't know what to do with Bobby Roode at all, despite his giant... Turn him heel. Oh, yes. Turn him heel. That is the only thing to do with Bobby Roode, because Bobby Roode, as a face, is dog shit. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. No. I mean, it's, it's fine. Work. No, he he's still... He's a good heel, and we're going to cheer him anyways. Yes! But he needs to be Bobby Roode. He needs to be glorious. He needs to be so better than people. you. There are so many people acting against type in rest and on WWE these days. Mm-hmm. There are so many people acting against type. And Brandon, I don't know <laughs> if that's the highest I've ever given. Uh, it's probably pretty close. Yeah, probably. Uh, I want to go with two thirty. I liked a lot of Raw this week. Um, I li- like I liked a lot of Raw this week. Like there was very little. Like, the, 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 the again thing. I was entertained and curious, but still shaking my head at the at the rude uh, situation tonight that we just talked about. But um, no, I, I really, I really like the like. I'm like, we're doing a phone home, phone in, raw, whatever. It's Labor Day, but holy crap, they did a lot of stuff. Okay, I mean, I, I will say, if the Riot Squad just outright squashed the Bellas, I would have said three hours, fifteen minutes, regardless of whatever else. <laughs> Fantastic. Mad Mike, uh, well, I was watching Raw. We were finishing up a lot of stuff from this weekend. A lot happened. Yes. We filmed the Guinness World Record Battle Royal with 109 people. That will be something that's on the IndieWrestling.us uh, channels here in the coming weeks. Uh, also, we had... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, some of the answers are popping up, and I'll get those before we head out. Uh, also, RWA's Aggression 2018 is going to be up. The pre-orders are up now at IndieWrestling.us on our Vimeo page. Uh, so you can uh, check out the uh, Chris Taylor versus the Rev Ron Hunt. The Rev joined us for the Indie Mayhem show uh, last week, and uh, we had a lot of great discussion uh, about what he's been up to, including check him out on Hulu's uh, Castle Rock, uh, where you are also watching your SmackDowns probably, as, as I am, uh, afterwards, uh, if you don't watch them live. But uh, and uh, So to go check that out, that is on there. A lot of great stuff um, in that show from Saturday Night. In- insane Cage Match, look at the video. We have a preview already up from that, including the entrances and the uh, disturbing entrance that the Rev uh, did over there. Also, a lot of new content. This is Monday, so I'm probably going to give you a what's new report every week on Indie Wrestling US Network. Uh, we just released uh, two new episodes of uh, PWO Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Ohio Television, as well as the entire Black Diamond Wrestling 15th Anniversary Show. Go over and sign up there. Indie Wrestling US. Hit the Indie Wrestling Network button, and it's uh, five ninety a month with a seven day free trial. And we do have in the can more episodes of Hardcore Memories with Duke and Doe talking ECW. You can check out the first two episodes in your free trial right now. Uh, from the chat room, um, gonna uh, wanted to give a shout to Dave. Says uh, thirty minutes of Purge commercials. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. There's some. It's really unnerving to hear Michael Cole promote the Purge with the same enthusiasm. That he says it's boss time. <laughs> yes. It's unnerving because I can just imagine in our dystopian future, it's purge time. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Uh, Tina says 45 minutes of the little that she watched tonight. And uh, Brandon thinks that the all in writers took over tonight. Maybe the, all the. Oh. All, no, there weren't enough dicks. No. Hey. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter. Yes, uh, you can find me when I live tweet Lucha Underground 
hopefully Wednesday nights, but usually whenever I get around to it. And uh, we will be coming up with Lucha uh, with Mayhem Underground very shortly. That's right. If you're here live on the Facebook Live uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook page, uh, you're getting a double dose here on a Monday once again. Uh, thank you, everybody. Please subscribe. Oh, and, to the- I, and I also did uh, live tweet all in this past weekend. Oh, so. boy. So look for the hashtag MM on that. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I watched the pre-show. I watched everything. So I'm looking it, forward to watching that when it comes up on New Japan World. So I think it's up now. Oh, damn. Yep. I need to not sleep tonight then, uh, apparently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, also please subscribe to Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed so you get this mayhem underground and all the rest of the wrestling uh content that we do here on the network and uh thank you so much everybody until next time keep it raw this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatron media